All right, I have two more things that I want to talk about for fluoro, and that's the fluoroscopy grids and some errors associated with um, image intensifier or fluoro errors. So believe it or not, there are grids um, in your image intensifier sometimes. Not all of them have them, um, but a lot of stationary fluoro rooms, um, there is a grid up in the image intensifier. So just remember radiographic grids, they reduce the amount of scatter that reaches your receptor, which improves your image contrast. Fluoroscopy grids tend to be a lower ratio grid due to the low MA values that we would use in fluoroscopy imaging. If you do pediatric fluoro, and with all of my students, we are one of the bigger fluoroscopy areas for pediatrics. Every time you do a PD fluoro case for us and we choose pediatric fluoro setting, if you listen in the room, you hear something moving. And when you select that PD setting, the, the grid automatically slides out. I think this is sometimes a little bit confusing because um, you're not walking over and removing the grid out of it by hand. This is usually a setting in the machine um, that does it for you. So for us, when I choose pediatric fluoro, my image intensifier machine um, has the grid sliding out of it. So I am not physically doing it, but the removal of the grid is recommended because of the size of pediatrics are smaller. So we could um, potentially do the exam non-grid, reducing not only the child's dose, but all of our doses in the room. Um, so there are grids in your image intensifiers. There are lower ratio grids, and it's recommended to remove them for pediatric cases. The other um, note I wanted us to make about fluoro are a couple terms for errors. The main one that I tend to see is this middle one, uh, the vignetting. And if you notice, these are all a circle shape. So if it's a circle shape, it usually indicates that it's um, from the image intensifier, so fluoro. Vignetting is the reduction in an image brightness or saturation toward the periphery compared to the middle. An S-shaped distortion, um, I think this one is pretty self-explanatory, it looks like a letter S or kind of a wave. And then a pin cushion artifact is the loss of shape at the edges of a fluoro image is the pin cushion one. So if you see these three terms, they are specific usually to um, the image intensifier and errors related to fluoroscopy images using that. And again, if it's a circle, it's done on an eye. Okay, so just make note of those. 